Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. Let's talk about how being overweight can raise your blood pressure. Now, I basically understand this, and I bet most people do. There's some relationship between being overweight and high blood pressure. But I actually don't understand why there's a relationship. Well, every cell that you add on to your body mass requires increased circulation of blood. That means the heart's got to work harder and send out more flow pressure to get things to what you've added on. Okay, so for every cell I add, that's more work for the heart that raises my blood pressure. Fat cells count, so the fewer the fat cells, the less my heart has to work. Exactly. Okay, so other than going to some late night infomercial, right, how do I actually lower my weight? Well, isn't that the question of the century? Yeah. And we care a lot about this. And there's a lot of information and tools and support out there for weight loss, including basic information around diet and exercise. Yeah. Now, I want to deal with some of the less commonly known causes of being overweight. For example, in stressful lives, one of the consequences over time is often the putting out of too much hormones and then eventually a tiredness of the glands in which you're putting out too little hormones. For example, if you do that with thyroid hormone, you wind up not animating metabolism enough. You wind up not burning enough and making enough energy, and you wind up gaining weight. Hmm. And the same can occur for the brain chemistry. For example, if you're stressed long term, you can drop some of your serotonin levels, amongst others. There are some people who wind up getting an increased appetite. In fact, when they restore serotonin levels, their appetite diminishes. Wouldn't that be handy? And then here's another uncommonly known cause. It's called food allergy, where you're having an immune response to some of the food you're eating. There's mm. a lot of reasons for this. It takes technical knowledge to deal with it. In fact, people who are skilled at this like to call this field food allergy slash addiction because people get addicted to the foods that are provoking their immune response. Let me tell you about the model of that. Some people, when they had their first cigarette, they wound up getting very nauseated and feeling awful. And what happened is eventually, if they kept on smoking, their body had to adjust to the toxicity that was involved there and the immune provocation, and they wind up getting addicted to nicotine. Same thing can happen with foods that you're having an immune response to. You can get addicted to them and eat way too many of them. So let me see if I understand this. The more cells I've got, the harder my heart has to work to feed them all, and fat cells count. So reduce the fat, and my heart doesn't have to work as hard, and I lower my blood pressure. There's some other things as well. One of them, you said, was hormones. Mm -hmm. If I don't have enough of certain hormones, mm -hmm. I will gain weight. And it. then there's also brain chemistry. If I'm missing some of the things that my brain needs, that will also potentially raise my weight. Mm -hmm. And then, the, sort of the surpriser to me, is that food allergies can lead me to overeat the very thing I shouldn't be eating, and thus, I also gain weight, so I've got to deal with my food allergies as well. Exactly. Well, this is a big topic, and we promise to cover it very thoroughly and give you our take on how to address the various issues. The good news is, is there's wonderful ways to address losing weight, even for people who've had a lot of trouble losing it, even though they've tried very hard. And even if they feel like maybe there isn't a way, sometimes there are there ways that be. they just haven't tried. Exactly. Yeah. There's always causes. There's always a way to heal. I promise you that. And in the world of weight loss, every little bit helps. You reduce your weight. Those who have hypertension, you're going to lower your blood pressure. 